Hey, welcome back everyone. My name is Sushal Sutish and I am your instructor for this ASAT 900 examination series. So far, we have learned quite a lot and we are in the module called Azure Governance Methodologies. One of the governance methodology is implementing role-based access control or RBAC. In this module, we are going to explore what is role-based access control. Role-based access control provides a fine-grained access management for Azure resources, enabling you to grant users only the rights they need to perform their job. Role-based access control is provided at no additional cost to all Azure subscribers. Let's explore some of the usage scenarios for RBAC. RBAC allow one user to manage VMs in a subscription and another user to manage virtual network. RBACs allow database administrators to group, manage SQL databases in a subscriptions. And RBAC can allow a user to manage all resources in a resource group such as VMs, websites, and subnets. And finally, RBACs allows an application to access all resources in a resource group as well. Some of the best practices for RBAC are using RBAC you can segregate duties within your team and grant only the amount of access to users that they need to perform their jobs. Instead of giving everybody unrestricted permission in your Azure subscription or resources, allow only certain actions at a scope level. When planning your access control strategy, grant access the lowest privilege level that they need to do their work. Now that we have known on the high level what RBAC is and what are the best practices, let's go to the Azure portal and find out how to implement and assign an RBAC role. So we'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care.